Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to display your spreadsheet data in a tabular format or using charts on any web page using JavaScript. In the end, I will also show how you can deploy your code and get a live published URL for free. I will also discuss its possible use cases, so let's get started. First, we need a URL or endpoint that can accept GET requests, and after processing, return the data to be consumed on an HTML page for displaying tables, charts, or other fancy stuff. We start by creating a new spreadsheet. Then open the script editor by clicking on Extensions and then Apps Script. This action opens the script editor in a browser tab. I will replace this with this code. Now, let me explain it. Whenever a request is made to the URL, that request will be processed here. That is what doGet function does. We then extract the sheet name from the request parameter. With the extracted sheet name, we get the data range in that sheet, retrieve values from that range in a 2D array format, and return the array. Now, to get the endpoint or URL, we need to deploy it. Click on Deploy, choose New Deployment, select a deployment type as a web app, give it a version name, and choose Execute as me. In Who Has Access To, choose Anyone. Finally, click on Deploy. During deployment, you will be asked to authorize the code. Please go ahead and grant all the necessary permissions. After a successful deployment, you'll receive a URL. Copy this URL. You can also get it from the Manage Deployment menu. Now let's test our endpoint. Let me populate the spreadsheet with some fake sales data. I will then paste the copied URL in the browser address bar, and you'll see the 2D array as a response. What we want here is to use this data inside a web page. For that, let's create a new HTML page. Right-click anywhere on the desktop, then choose Create New Text File, then save it as HTML file. Now open it with your favorite code editor. I am using Visual Studio Code. If you don't have Code Editor, then you can download it and install it from the link given in the description below. I have pasted this sample code that uses Google Chart Library to draw chart. Currently, it's using hard-coded data to draw charts. Later, we will replace this with our spreadsheet data. Let me quickly test this before I explain the code. I will double-click the file to open it in the browser. Alternatively, you can click on Go Live in the bottom right corner of your Visual Studio Code editor. You can see a nice chart here. Let me explain this. This line includes the Google Charts API loader script. It's fetching the script from the given URL, enabling the use of Google Charts in the document. This line loads the Google Charts library with the specified packages, core chart, and bar. It's preparing the environment to use these chart types. When the specified packages have been loaded, then this line call the draw chart function defined below. Google.visualization.array to data table converts the chart data into a format suitable for Google Charts. This block specifies the chart options, including the chart title, subtitle. There are other options too that you can set here. You can read about them later in its documentation. Creates a new Google Pie Chart instance, specifying the target HTML element where the chart will be rendered. Finally, this line draws the chart using the specified data and options. This is an empty div element with the specified ID and style attributes. The Google bar chart will be rendered inside this div. Now let's bring in our spreadsheet data here. I will modify this code a little bit. This code initiates a fetch request to the specified URL. It's fetching data, presumably in JSON format, from a Google Sheets script. Here you can see I have passed sheet name as the query parameter. I will be fetching data from sheet 1. This is part of the fetch API. It's handling the response by extracting the text content. After getting the text response, it parses it as JSON and assigns it to the sheet data variable. Then it calls the draw chart function with the obtained data. If there's an error during the fetch operation, it will be caught and logged to the console. This function takes the chart data as an argument and is responsible for creating and drawing the Google bar chart. This line converts the chart data into a format suitable for Google Charts. This block specifies the chart options, including the chart title, subtitle, 
and the fact that the bars should be horizontal. This line creates a new Google bar chart instance, specifying the target HTML element where the chart will be rendered. Now let's test his again. This time you can see bar chart representing our sales data. Moving on, let's add a table to visualize tabular data. For that, I will paste some fake employees data into my spreadsheet. Most of the code will remain the same. I will start by duplicating this block of code. Add additional package called table. Rename this function to draw table. I will have to edit my chart options. Change this code block a little bit so that it renders table instead of bar chart. I will have to include an additional div element to contain table and provide the corresponding div ID to chart.draw function. Now let's test this. Here you can see both bar chart and employees table. You can also apply all kinds of formatting to your table. You can refer its documentation. I will post its link in the description. With additional HTML tags and CSS, you can fully customize this according to your needs. If you want me to do a full tutorial on converting it to a dashboard, then please let me know in the comments. Moving on, what if you want to access this visualizations on the internet? For this, you need to deploy your code to server. Let me show how to do that for free. We will be using GitHub pages. For that, you need to have GitHub account. If you don't have, then please create a new one. Then create a new repository. After that, upload your HTML file in that repository. Then go to settings page of that repository. On the left side navigation pane, click on pages. Now you need to select the source to main, then click save. It will take a minute to build and deploy your site. When you refresh it, you will be given the URL of your published site like this one. Now you can easily share this URL with anyone. In the description, I have attached link of the spreadsheet and the link to download the HTML file. I have also attached the live URL. This video isn't just about displaying a chart. It's about fetching data from your Google Sheet into any web page using JavaScript. This could be your WordPress site or any other HTML that allows you to add or embed HTML code. If your website needs some kind of dynamic data that needs to be shown on your web page, then you can use this scripts for that as well. If you already have your data source ready, then also you can use the visualization API to build rich charts. Let me know in the comments in what creative ways you are going to use this. I hope you will find this useful in your projects. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.